Home Assistant has more than 1,800 smart home integrations, so it's easy to miss when new integrations are added each month. In this video, we're gonna cover the new integrations that were added in Home Assistant as part of release 2021-06. If you guys want me to make any video in the future about any one of these new integrations, then just let me know in the comment section down below. Now, let's roll the intro. Bosch Smart Home Controller is going to allow you to integrate any device that you have through Bosch SHC. It seems that apparently we have the binary sensor only as an option, but if you have these devices, then keep your eyes out peeled because it seems like things are going to be added in the future in Home Assistant for you. Cool. The next one, is, I found this quite interesting, the garage is from Amsterdam. So this is a specific one for you guys that live in Amsterdam, Holland. And it's an API that basically provided by the municipality. This is around the spaces and how much space we have in long-term parking, short-term parking, what is the capacity. So I think it's quite interesting and you can expose this binary sensor. It could be really useful for those people, obviously not much use for me. Kraken integration. Kraken is a place where you can actually monitor exchange rates. So if you go to kraken.com, you can do all sorts of things from Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, I'm assuming also normal currency. This could be of some use to you if you're doing financial stuff. I made another video where I was linking up with my bank, but I'm not too sure how keen you are to be notified when uh, the exchange rate changes. But what you could do is if you're keen on, for example, Bitcoin and something like that, you could have a notification coming in Home Assistant, or you can have a light bulb, or you can have some text-to-speech that will notify you if an exchange rate changes uh, to a degree that you want to track, right? Next is Meteo Climatic. Meteo Climatic is just a standard web service for meteorological data based on your location. So it's going to be plugged into weather. It's pretty standard. I'm probably not going to be using this one, but it's cool that it's there. This one over here, the Netigo uh, Monitor, I believe this is for a specific product but the link currently at the time of recording is actually broken. So we haven't got much information about this one over here. The network configuration is actually a device or an API. It is more of an internal operation within your own home network and enables Home Assistant to find devices more easily. And now it's based on auto detection and you can see some information here. But basically what it says, if you already had the default configuration enabled, this would have been enabled uh, anyway. Pretty sure there's something that I'm missing with this network configuration, but let me know in the comment section down below. The next one over here is the SIA alarm systems. This is very specific to the certain brand of alarm system called Ajax systems. So if you do have that, then this will be good for you that you can integrate in Home Assistant now. At this stage, you can only listen to events, but you can't actually change events. What I mean by that is you can see if an alarm has been triggered in your system, but you can't trigger an alarm through Home Assistant sensors. What you can do is just to flash some lights in case you have a, an alarm situation coming from this protocol. I think this is a work in progress. I'm pretty sure it will be added in the future where you can control the alarm system from Home Assistant. So it's specific to this brand. Sync thing seems very interesting if you're synchronizing files between two different servers or maybe a server and a NAS and you want to keep that under control and when you want to be notified when things go wrong. It's could be, I'm thinking of a use case here where you have a uh, IP camera maybe saving to some file server on your local device and you want to synchronize it to a cloud service and you need to be able to ensure that the syncing is still working or at least if the syncing stops working you get notified through home assistant uh, so you can see some information about the syncing type this could be an interesting one to actually test out if you're getting value out of this video as usual just smash that like button subscribe to the channel to be up to date with the latest and greatest from Home Assistant and Smart Home Gadgets. Next is System Bridge. So System Bridge is for you guys that are quite into your performance, you want to know everything about your machine and what you're running. 
a few things that you can actually sense are the, well, you've got your BIOS version, which doesn't really change, your battery level, CPUs, temperatures and speeds, file systems, and you can also check everything like the memory, how much you've got used, how much you've still got, and the operating system, which probably won't change every second. Now, it looks like you can actually send commands through this service here, system bridge send command. So you could send something like code or Python straight to your machine. So this could be quite powerful in enabling basically anything you want. So if you can script out things and you can send code, then you can do a lot of things on your machine. And I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of people around, maybe on Facebook or Reddit, that will be playing around with this and getting value out of this integration. So they think this integration here probably is the most valuable integration out of them all for this release, in my opinion. The system bridge is one to look out for in terms of new ideas coming out. Warbox is for the electric car enthusiasts like me. And the wall box is, I Googled this earlier, it's just a thing that you, it's what you attach on the wall and you charge your car. So if you have a wall box and, or if it's compatible with wall box, you can, you can get things like the energy that you're spending, the speed charging time. So you could perhaps calculate when your car is gonna be charged up and you know send a notification out. You can also track things like consumption, the prices and, and all sorts of things. So this is gonna be a really good one, but unfortunately for a small niche of people, anyone that has an electric car will get value out of having this. If you have this My Wallbox portal, if you follow the link through the Hum Assistant, you can probably potentially create an account, but I would assume you need that machine then up and running. I'll be leaving all the links down in the description below so you can actually go and read this all for yourself. And if you want me to make a deep dive on any of these, then just let me know in the description down below. Now, some of them I'm not gonna be able to do because I don't have the devices, but the ones that I can actually do, I'll let you know. And if you see the, an ID already there, just thumbs it up. If you wanna find out more about what Home Assistant does, I'm gonna leave you two videos here that you can actually click on and watch. They are cool home automation ideas that you can apply in your own smart home. This was Geo from Smart Home Makers. See you guys in the next one. Peace.